everyone, my name is Mary and I'm the Chief Impact Officer at Amira and I am super excited for this tour today. In January, we launched our Community Resource Center in the mansion at Lynn, which is run by Jen at East Coast International Church. They've been our hosts for this project as we reach women who are currently being trafficked. Jen's gonna give us a tour and we're gonna learn more about the CRC today, so let's go. Hey everyone, so this is Jen with East Coast International Church. Hi Jen. Hey. <laughs> Thanks so much for giving us the steward today. Yes, welcome to the mansion. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Yes. Tell us a little bit about this home. So, this house was built in 1877 by a man named Henry Pavier. He was Mr. Lynn, Massachusetts. He sold leather to the shoe factories. He attended Washington Street Baptist Church right down the street. And he ended up starting a home for boys out in Western Mass. We learned all of this history after we purchased the home, but really felt like we were continuing a passion that he had for helping others. So um, we are really blessed to be here. We're only the fourth owners of this building, so it hasn't been chopped up like a lot of old buildings in our city. Wow. So yes. Cool. Let me give you a tour. Awesome. Okay. to feel like they're our very treasured guests when they come here. We have a little guest book that they can sign in and then they can come into the parlor where we just have lots of comfortable seating. It's a beautiful space. We have candy everywhere because what woman doesn't want some chocolate or a lot of chocolate? We also have cozy blankets, um, journals, um, coloring books. Uh, we're just creating a really nice, beautiful space for women to connect and network and support each other. Hi, I'm Cherie Kreider, the Director of Outreach and Mentoring for Amira. And I'm Becky Keyes, Program Clinician and Community Resource Director. This space is where we hold our Ending the Game groups. Ending the Game is a survivor-written, survivor-led, resiliency-building curriculum that helps women understand psychological coercion. It breaks feelings of attachment to the trafficker and or the life characterized by prostitution. This is where um, it all kind of first began. We started on a Wednesday and we made waffles. And women just sat around the table, just enjoying um, time together, eating together at a table. Um, and then that just turned into something pretty amazing. Waffle Wednesday. Waffle Wednesday. All right, this is also the space that we use for our resiliency building support groups. Those groups are based on seeking safety um, rewritten and modified by Shuri, um, and it really speak to um, the combination of trauma and substance use that um, some of the women that we're working with are experiencing. Now we're gonna walk around the corner to our back porch, which it has become a really great extra space for women. Maybe they don't wanna be inside or just need a little extra place to be. So they could come out to our back porch. Um, it's beautiful, we like to decorate it um, according to whatever the season is. Anything that we can get our hands on about Lynn, Massachusetts and its history, we bring into this space, um, we really wanted to recreate kind of what this building represents with our seating arrangements and the furniture that we have. So there's books, there's games in here. Um, again, there's always chocolate. And um, we even have brought down a little, um, some clothing and other items for women to um, go through. We are starting a thrift boutique 
as an extension of the mission that we do here with women. And so we've brought some items down here for women to shop or take as needed. This is um, also, it's a very quiet space. Like women will come in here, they'll work on their computer, they'll sit down and read, it's, it's restful. Um, this space also will be the space we use for childcare. If any woman using our services um, would like to bring their children with them, this is the space where they'll hang out. We have a few toys, not out and about. Um, this as well as the outdoor space. but I wanted to just point out something that a mom of one of our girls who passed, um, she purchased this um, hope chest and has been filling it with items for women so that when they enter the mansion, if there's anything that they need, they are welcome to take it. And just really, it's been a part of um, Sarah's mom's healing as well as just blessing the ladies who come to the mansion. Now we're going to go into the room that we call the spa room. Super fun, very cozy. Um, just, we have fingernail polish, we have toiletries, tissues, books, um, you name it, it's in here. Cozy blankets, um, another great space for women to just relax and connect. This is also the space that we use for counseling. Women can come in, um, settle wherever they feel comfortable, um, and we have a quiet place to talk. So that's the tour. That was awesome. Thank you so much for showing us the space. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. What an amazing place for women to come and just rest and access services yes. and all the things that you offer here through the mansion. Thank you so much for partnering with us on this. We Absolutely. are so grateful for you. Absolutely. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for the rest of our videos for Voices of Hope.